Thank you for visiting Rock My Edits. In today's tutorial, we'll be on editing using the Rich and Lustrous set. So in this session, it is fall here in Michigan. So I wanted to give this a nice, warm, creamy feel to the photograph. So I thought we would use the paint arms in the Rich and Lustrous to achieve that look. So here is the before, and as you can see, it's got a lot of green from the foliage. And I just want to use the um, paint ons that will achieve a nice dreamy um, browns deep rich red tones. So I would start with the paint on richness and click play. And this is a great action because you can paint on exactly where you want to bring in the colors. It does nothing to your photograph when you first run it. Um, all of the layers are black, meaning that they're hidden. So you need to get a white paintbrush and be on your layer mask and paint over some of the areas. The first one I'm going to choose, again, you have to have a white paintbrush. Um, I will start with the ruby red and I will just come in paint in various sections. Uh, you do not have to be precise with this. You're just painting um, over areas. Next I'm going to use the purple. And again, just randomly painting. And the next one I will use is the deep chocolate. I don't need to worry about the opacity as of yet. Um, if you do not like something that you painted, you can hit the X on your keyboard and paint over it to erase that area where you painted. Okay, so then I will come in and um, go ahead and paint the velvet background. I love velvet background because it gives us a nice, dull, um, fall, dreamy tone. So once that's done running, and again, you can run these at the same time as you have other actions in the background in your layers palette you don't need to flatten so you get a white paintbrush and you paint over the the background this is a background tool it's great for using to make a matte plus velvety feel I also like to turn on the flatness layer and then I can go ahead and run the matte And again, this is a paint on, so we will paint it over the background, leaving our subject as she is. And this mat is a very popular new um, editing style. So this is great for your new fall photos. The last thing that I will run is a color haze. We're going to let this action run, it is going to pull in multiple possibilities of hazes. It's a really great set. Once it's all finished, we're going to choose the hazes that we want. It already has one started for you, which is the purple haze, but we're going to go ahead and start with fuchsia. And on here, we do not want our subject to have this haze over it. So we click on the layer mask, we get a black paintbrush because black hides and we just paint directly over our subject making sure that she does not have any on her skin. I'm also going to add in some type of a brown. So we're going to go ahead with the caramel. And again, I can take that off of her to bring in the pink peach tone of her skin rather than turn that brown. Okay, so once we're done here, then we can determine if we need to turn up or turn down any of our previous actions. So we're going to go ahead and just Play around a little bit and turn up the velvet background. Um, let's see, I probably would want to turn up my reds a little bit in the painted background richness and maybe turn up the chocolate just a little bit. Okay, so then once I'm done with that, I go ahead and flatten because we are all finished and I'm happy with the edit. And then I would run my finishing gloss. Finishing gloss is something that's really important to finish up with as it gives a perfect brightness and sharpness. Generally, I keep the brightness layer at 100%. Sometimes I turn the finishing gloss down to 9 or 10, um, wherever I'm happiest with. So that's all I would do, and then I would save it. This, to me, is a nice, warm fall edit. Here is the before. 
very green, kind of almost takes away from her. And then that is the finish with her being the very center focus, also giving us those fall rich um, mauve and brown chocolate tones. Thank you so much for watching.